This is Neko July 2023 General Mathematics Paper 2, and we are answering question number 10. And the question reads uh, A bucket full of water is 40 cm in diameter in the open end, 24 cm in diameter at the bottom end, and 32 cm deep. That the same bucket that contains water full is now drum emptied or transferred into another container, which is cylindrical drum that is 56 cm in diameter. So the question asked is to find the level of the water in the drum, and that answer should now be rounded to the nearest whole number. We are asked to take a prior answer 22 over 7. So let's attempt to answer this question together. Solution to this very problem. So this very drum that you can see, this is your bucket, which is a post drum of a cone. You can see the end E diameter at the open air is 40. Diameter at the bottom end is 24, and you can see the depth of the bucket is 32 centimeters. And it is now full with water, and this quantity of water is now poured or transferred into the cylindrical drum that is 56 centimeters in the diameter. And we ask to find the level of the water. So let that level of the water be L, capital letter L, the level of the water in this drum. If I now write L to be the level of the water in the drum, so we used the concept of uh, the quantity of water in the bucket initially is now the same quantity of water that will now be inside the cylindrical drum to this level L. So we use that concept to now find the level of the water in the drum. So now write the formula for finding the volume of the prostrum of the cone and equated with the volume of the water in the cylindrical drum to the height capital letter L. That formula is now going to be 1 over 3 pi multiplied by the bracket inside the bracket. You have capital R square multiplied by capital H minus small r square multiplied by H. This is what is in the bracket and this is the formula for finding volume of a prostrum which resulted from volume of large cone minus volume of small cone. And we now equate this volume of the prostrum that is the bucket with the volume of the water inside the cylindrical drum to this level, capital letter L. So our main task now is to get this capital letter H, that is the height of the larger cone, and this small letter H, the height of the small cone. Let me just complete this uh, prostrum to make it a cone, to have a large cone and small cone. You can see the smaller cone here, is this the one cut and removed from the larger cone to have this very bucket? So if I can now find this H, the small letter H, the height of the smaller cone, I can now use it to find the capital H, the height of the larger cone, which will now be from here down here. So I'm simply adding 32 to this very small letter H. So we now use the concept of similar triangle because I can see two triangles here that are similar. The triangles look at it, look at the larger triangle. This to this, this will now be a large right angle triangle, which will now be similar to this small right angle triangle E. So I can now take the ratios of the corresponding sides. And the corresponding side that I'm going to take will now be from here to here, which will now be the radius of this open end will now be 20 divided by the corresponding side, which is the radius of the small cone, which will now be 12 half of this 24. So 20 divided by 12, this ratio will now be the same ratio. If I now take uh, the height of the larger cone, which will now be 32, less H, divided by the height of the smaller cone. So these ratios are always equal. So I can now find the small H by cross multiplying. That gives me 20H equals to 12 multiplied by 32 plus H. So let me just expand this bracket. So I'm having my 20H equals to 12 multiplied by 32 give a result 384 and 12 times H gives you 12 H. So you now transfer this to 12 H to the left hand side, it becomes a minus. So there you now have 8 H equals to 384. Divide both sides by 8, the coefficient of H. That will give you answer HR 48 centimeters. So the height of this small cut that was cut and removed to get this bucket 
is now 48 centimeters. So which means the height of the larger cone, which is this capital H, will now be 32 plus this 48, which will now give me answer 80. So if I go back to my formula, to reduce my substitution, I can see this super who cancel this very high. So in the next line, I'm just substituting R, H, that is capital R, capital H, this R small and this small H. Let me do that. So I'm going to have one over three times the bracket. You can see pi and this pi is canceled. So inside the bracket, you now have R square. R square will now be the radius of the larger cone, which will now be 20. So you have 20 square multiplied by height of the larger cone, capital H, which will now say is 80. 48 plus this 32, that will give answer 80. Then minus uh, the radius of the small cone, which will now be 12. This is half of this 24 times uh, the height of the small cone, which will be 48, this small letter H. Then equals to the right hand side. The radius of the cylindrical drum, you can see the diameter is 56. So the radius of that cylindrical drum is now going to be 28 centimeters per multiplied by the level of the water in this cylindrical drum, which is capital letter L. So next is to evaluate uh, what is in the bracket here and this 28 square. So you now have two 20 square multiplied by 80. That will now give you answer 32,000. And the 12 square multiplied by 48, that gives you 6,912. And this 28 square gives answer 784, then multiplied by L. You now subtract what is in the bracket and divide the result by 3. That gives answer 25,088 divided by 3 equals to 784L. So you now cross multiply and divide both sides by the coefficient of L. That gives you answer L equals to 25,088 divided by the product of 3 and 784. So multiplying the bottom and dividing the numerator by the product, uh, if you did correctly, that would give answer 10.66. This would now be the level of the water, but the question asks us to give this answer in nearest whole number. So you have to approximate this to the nearest whole number. And when that is now done correctly, it gives you answer 11 centimeters as the level of the water inside of this cylindrical drum. So that answered the question. So let me just quickly share with you how this very question is now marked according to the official and the co-marking scheme. So the very first mark is the bonus one mark. And that bonus one mark is for this very dry. You have to indicate the diameter of the open end, diameter of the bottom end, the depth, and the small letter H. That gives you this bonus one mark. And the next mark is uh, the method one mark and this method one mark is for putting the ratios of this uh, corresponding sides in the similar triangle if you did correctly you now have this method one mark and trying to solve the for h up to this level 8h equals to 384 you have this method one mark and when you now have uh, small letter h the height of the smaller code as 48 exactly you have this accuracy one mark so the next mark is the method one mark. And this method one mark is for equating the volume of the water in the bucket with the volume of the water in the cylindrical drum. That is right in the formula for volume of uh, a prostrum of a cone equals to volume of water in the cylindrical drum. You have this method one mark. And the next mark is for getting 80 as the height of the larger cone. This 80, where we said it's 32 plus small h, Small h is now 48. So getting this 80, it will give you this bonus one mark. The next mark is method one mark. And this method one mark is for correct substitution in the formula for finding volume of water in the bucket. That is substituting capital R, capital H, small r, small h correctly. It will give you this method one mark. And uh, the other method one mark is for substituting in the formula for finding volume of water in the cylindrical drum. That is substituting in the radius of the cylindrical drum by 28. It gives you this method one mark. When you now continue simplifying what is in the bracket, uh, this gives you this method one mark. And when you now continue to solve the 
have to test a level for finding L, you have this number one mark. And when you have L 10.66, before rounding to the nearest whole number, you have another IPC one mark. And when you round it accurately, and you have 11 centimeters, you now have uh, this uh, final accuracy one mark. So in total, this very question has uh, 12 good marks.